I know you might have a 540 and it's probably ugly or you want a 540 and you don't want it to be ugly. And if you want an ugly 540, go watch another video because this ain't the one. If you're trying to learn this 540 and you don't have any dynamics before a 540, click the little link up here and go watch the Swing 360 tutorial and then come back to this video and we'll get started on, on this 540, y'all. Tu sabes que yo sé que tu sabes. Step number one, we're gonna make this nice and simple. Step, step number one is a 180, but it's a different kind of 180. We're gonna really focus on, on our hips in the 180. The goal for the 180 into a 540 is to be able to turn 180 degrees like as fast as possible. So when you're going, you turn your whole body around as fast as you can. It should look like this. Here, pop. You should be able to turn around all the way facing the bar as fast as you can, because that's gonna be the initial power you get into the 540. Step number two is not really a 540 or a 180. It's more of you feeling yourself in the air because this is a one and a half spin to a re-grab. So in order to be able to throw yourself up in the air like that, you gotta be comfortable in the air to begin with. So what I like to do is a, a smaller swing and I kind of just throw myself and try to land on my feet. So this is kind of what it would look like. Same 180, throw. Just like that. Inside of that step, you're gonna wanna do that as many times as you need to do to get comfortable and to the point where you're landing on your feet, you're facing the bar, and you're comfortable with the spin. So it should look like this. Over here. Okay, now that you're comfortable with the spin, you're landing on the ground, you're ready to really focus on technique. Here's the real technique of a 540. So here's the, the meat on the ribs, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. I spin to my left. So that means I want my right leg to come back, back here. If you spin the other way, you're gonna want it to be over here this way. All right, so first things first, when you hit the peak, you're gonna turn your hips like this. Just turn your hips. Turn your hips. Just by turning your hips out a little bit, you'll already naturally do a 180 if you just let it unwind. When you put some power into that unwind, you'll be able to 540. Okay, so you understand the wind up, the part where you turn your hips out, straddle your legs a little bit. The important part though, is when you're kicking on the front. So I'm gonna face towards you here. So I'm, I do the wind up. When I come forward, one of the biggest mistakes that I see a lot is when people only kick one leg across. They just kick their, their back leg and they just whip it around the front. You can do that. You can still catch a 540 like that. The only problem is when you just kick your leg over here, your whole body's gonna travel diagonally. So you're gonna be a little off axis. The best way to get around this is, a, is two steps. Wind up, kick your leg across, and this leg down here, this back one, kick it back. So you're kind of meeting both legs, kind of like a tornado. So when you're doing it, it should be boom, here. Okay, that's a little exaggerated, but you're here, kick. So both legs are doing the work there, not just one of them. Okay, so we're gonna combine everything that we learned. So we know in the 180, your hips need to turn around as fast as possible. Second, add your legs into that whole twist itself. One leg is driving across, the back leg is kicking down. After that, it's all just in the hands, right? Once you take care of the spin part, you have nothing to worry about with your hands, really. All you have to do is let go with one at a time. You go forward, you're gonna let go with one until you're facing the bar. When you're facing it, you can either touch it or not. It doesn't make a difference. Once you're facing the bar, you just let go with two hands, put your head over your shoulder, and the bar will be in front of you. So after you do it a, a bunch of times, you're gonna start being able to see the bar. So if you're doing it and you're not seeing the bar, or you don't know where you are, don't be worried, it's, it's normal to be confused because it's new. So if this is new to you, just keep being persistent. Keep throwing it because it's not, it's not just gonna be easy. Some people it's easy, but for most it's not easy. So when you're going, one hand, face the bar, head over the shoulder. You should be coming around, you'll be able to re-grab the bar here. 
if you combine all of those little steps, this is what it should look like. Sauce. This is not sponsored by Rain, unfortunately. So if you're listening to this and you can talk to Rain, tell them to stop playing games. Anyways, that's how you 540. If you have any questions or, or if you're trying it, post the videos, tag us in it so we can see you guys using the tips that we're sharing. Let us know that it's valuable, you know what I'm saying? Because we're out here just doing it for you guys for free, you know, because we love you. <laughs> so like, subscribe, comment, and do the other stuff that you do on YouTube. <laughs> and enjoy.